I, I just wanted to make the connection uh, now that we're here with Lily Dominguez, who's worked for the CFE, which is the utility company, which is a para state, uh, para public, is I guess what we say in English, uh, company here in Mexico. And we spent the day at Hydro Quebec in, in, in Quebec. And for me, um, I see there's a cultural aspect to this um, managing of the energy resources. So maybe let me make, sort of go with that idea. So uh, Pemex, you know, we, we hear a lot about Pemex, for example, which is closely associated with CFE because a lot of the um, oil are, are, is the source of the electrical power, the oil and gas. Pemex really has a, um, a national implication for Mexico. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, the what, and I can't go into, I'm sure Stephen and Lily could fill in all the history, but a very basic version of the history in, uh, in Mexico is the decision to close off Pemex from foreign investors. For example, Texas oil tycoons, for example, was a nationalist decision of Mexico. It was a decision to say, we don't want Mexico to be, you know, another, te like a sub-Texas, you know, that, that basically Texas is running Mexico, okay, by having, uh, you know, so Pemex was, you know, there was a, a decision to make sure that Pemex was, was a Mexican company without foreign ownership, and that had a cultural implication for Mexico to create itself more, to establish itself more fully as an independent uh, country. And we see the same parallel in Quebec uh, much later in the 1960s when René Lévesque, and of course Quebec is not a nation, but as Lily says, they see themselves as a nation. We all know that the Québécois see themselves as a nation within a nation. So for the Quebec to pursue their vision of a nation, uh, René Lévesque in the 19, late 1960s uh, nationalized for the for the province of Quebec the, the energy sector and and created uh, Hydro Quebec by buying up all all the dams and this created wealth for Quebec and allowed Quebec to create a civil society allowed it to create a business community we looked at the engineering uh, capacity that was created to build the dams so all of a sudden Quebec has world class engineering capability because of this so I just want to make the connection between cultural aspirations to be an independent country and not to be overshadowed by the U.S. or not to be overshadowed in the case of Quebec by the, the ROC, the rest of Canada, and how the energy policy, and, and to some extent nationalizing the energy policy. Now in, in Quebec, they have the good fortune of the hydroelectric power is renewable energy, so that is a stable, long-term strategy to create wealth, to fund health and education in Quebec. And in, in Mexico, we have this huge problem where the oil reserves, as we talked about, the difference between renewable energy and, you know, are limited. And then Pemex is, is, is so central to CFE, is so central to, to the Mexican economy, is a source of revenue, tax revenue, etc. And that's, that's in, um, in question because of the long-term issues of having a long-term supply of oil. But my point is, there's really a heavy cultural implication and also an, an implication for independence of the country that has to do with control of these energy resources. But we know from a strategy point of view, from strategic management, that closing things off from the innovation that's going on around the world makes you vulnerable. So it's like you're kind of stuck between you want, you want foreign investment, but at the same time you want to, um, to keep your own cultural independence, your political independence. So I just wanted to make the parallel between what happened in Quebec and the nationalizing of the hydroelectric power, nationalizing it for the province of Quebec, and how much wealth and, and, and generation. And, and I think that Mexico, in many ways, had to do what they, do, they did to limit the, the U.S. and for other foreign investments. So it was just a point. I don't know if you have a comment on sure. that. Or yes, it's a big issue, for example, for the unions. If you say, oh, there's a foreigner outside the hall waiting to, be, uh, to, to take a position in the company would, you know, destroy themselves and have uh, uh, strikeouts or something because they, mm -hmm. it's a national issue, nationalistic issue. We don't want foreigners in our companies. But the only way that we see foreigners is in our projects. We need the money to invest and 
big different dimensions, long scale, large scale investments, and we don't have that money. But we wouldn't like to have a, a 